Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see how we can create a pop-up in Power Apps. So suppose here, if I click, I can see all the details of that particular item. Okay, so this pop-up is basically uh, created uh, in a rectangle. So that rectangle is going to show and hide on the click button of the show details. Okay. So let's jump on the blank screen, the blank uh, power apps. And here, what I will do, I will go and take a rectangle and the height and width of this rectangle will be parent height and parent width, parent width and height will be parent height and x will be 0, y will be 0. Great. So now this pop-up will cover the complete screen and here I will go for fill and I'll make it 0.1. Okay. Now our next task is I will add a, uh, a drop down control and uh, in this drop down control i will wind go in data source and here i'll type sharepoint in the sharepoint i will choose any list over here so in this list i'm having some data Okay, and here I will go title and subtitle. All right, and here I will choose my SharePoint list. So, this is the leave title. Okay, and this I'll choose leave status. status oh, my application is going to hang dot this leave status dot value okay so this is uh our uh you know good uh, uh grid view basically gallery and here what i will do i'll remove this instead of i will add a button control okay so this button control I will make the text as to details. Okay, and here we go. All right. So now let's make it. Okay. And this will go reorder in the send to back. Okay, so on this pop-up, this is uh this is our gallery control and this is the pop-up. So in this pop-up, what I will do, I will add a new pop-up, new rectangle. So basically, this rectangle having color equals to white. And here I will add a edit form. So this edit form is basically will give us the details of the particular selected item. Okay. So here I will choose as a data source, as a SharePoint list, same SharePoint list. And in the item source, I will choose, you know, the selected item. 
okay now i will go here and in the item i'll choose gallery one dot selected okay and in this form i will go and i'll choose two okay so it will look uh, looks good then on this gallery control okay this is rectangle and this is the form and here i will click an icon okay so you remember whenever we will click on this icon that icon will close the pop up okay so i'll make it a bit small all right so in the grid what i will do form this rectangle this rectangle create a group and this group visible will equals to false initially okay now we having this uh, show details and on this screen i will add a text label here so this text label show a label like leaves details leave grid okay and i'll make it 20 click bold it should go on 20 this will go in the center okay great so on this show details what i will do because right now whenever user will select nothing will be show okay so what i will do i will go in the show details button and on the show details button i will set a variable that where show pop up equals to true great now whenever user will click on the show details and this is the group and here just paste this okay now if i will click over here i cannot see the pop-up let me this will equals to To pop bash show pop up okay so now on this click button I have to make it as a false select and this will be false okay so now if i will run it i can see uh, the show uh, the pop up now whenever i will click here you can see the pop up has been hide okay and one more thing i will do so this pop up rectangle I will make a little wider and for this form I will go and take form mode as a view okay so now uh, this cancel button I'll take it here so now whenever you will click you can see show details whenever you will click the pop up will be hide okay so i hope you can understand what i have done in this video so the same thing we have achieved here look 
okay so what i have done in this video i'll let you know again what we have done first we have taken a gallery control here and this gallery control suppose if i'll click it so simple you can see this gallery control here and on the top of, of this gallery control we have created a uh, rectangle so this rectangle is basically cover all complete screen and you know the fill color we have just changed so whenever you will click over here that rectangle is covering the complete screen so it looks like that we have hide the complete screen but if you want what you can do you know just go in this gallery control okay and you can just make a height and width okay so now whenever you will click here you can see the data is showing in the back end and the pop-up is showing on the front of that gallery okay so whenever you will click on the show details we have set a variable that will uh, you know set the value as a true and this true value we have on visible uh, make as where show pop up okay so this value will be true for right now because we have just click on the show details button so whenever this value will be true automatically that pop up will come up now we are again going to set the variable value as a false and now the pop up is going to hide okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video please uh, keep like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye